For two decades, it has been a mystery as to what the jets are spraying on us. Finally, we know the source material of these jet chemtrails. Coal ash is reprocessed to create the chemtrail base mixture. Chemtrail residues in rainwater have the same mix of toxic metals as those found in coal ash from coal burning power plants. Such a huge amount of chemtrails is sprayed every day that there is no other source for these nanometal oxides except coal ash. Fly ash and bottom ash are created at every coal-fired power plant. Fly ash is rich in aluminum oxide, about 30%, which is the main chemical found in chemtrail rainwater tests. Coal combustion waste from power plants is the biggest industrial waste stream in the world, with about 120 million tons created each year in the USA alone. Over 50 million tons of fly ash is created in the USA each year by processing the coal combustion waste. More than 40% of U.S. coal ash production is reprocessed into cement, road base, drywall, bauxite, shingles, plastic filler, and non-publicized uses like chemtrail mix. The use of fly ash has more than doubled since chemtrails began in the mid-1990s. Chemtrails account for millions of tons of coal ash reuse every year. Secret chemtrail mix is labeled component of flowable fill in coal ash industry documents. 39% of the electricity generated in the U.S. is made by burning coal. Disposing of the ash at each coal-burning power plant is a billion-dollar problem, with most ash put in nearby landfills at a very high cost. After the Kingston, Tennessee coal ash spill in 2008, the electric utility paid over $1 billion and spent over five years to clean it up. The secret chemtrail program receives fly ash from coal-fired power plants at a very low cost since the power plant operators are trying to get rid of the ash. Railroad or barge transportation makes it easy to move millions of tons of processed fly ash to secret air bases. All coal electric utilities use transportation, such as railway, to bring coal to the plant. Therefore, it's very easy to remove the fly ash. The low cost of the fly ash, the existing processing facilities, the easy transportation all out in the open, and the lack of public awareness concerning coal waste make fly ash the ideal source material for the secret chemtrail program. Patent number 5003186 describes cooling the earth with metal oxides sprayed into the stratosphere. Fly ash has the right size and mixture of metal oxides, so a minimum amount of processing is needed to create a ready-to-spray, water-based chemtrail slurry. Coal fly ash has the correct size, 10 to 100 microns, according to the patent, to be used as a Wellsback reflective material when sprayed in the upper atmosphere. In addition to aluminum, rainfall testing shows a variety of toxic metals which are all found in coal ash, depending on the source of the coal. This rainfall test from Chico, California has high readings in aluminum and barium. This rainfall test from Alachua County, Florida shows high aluminum every day and high barium on a single day. <coughs> Coal ash is composed primarily of oxides of silicon, aluminum, iron, calcium, magnesium, titanium, thallium, sodium, potassium, arsenic, mercury, and sulfur, plus small amounts of radioactive uranium and thorium. Barium, BA, is always present in coal ash and is found in most chemtrails. This California rainfall test shows aluminum, barium, and strontium over a two-month period in uh, January 2014.
fly ash with low barium may have barite mined and added before spraying. Coal ash has dangerous amounts of radioactive uranium, radium, and thorium. Chemtrailed areas are being poisoned with depleted uranium, naturally occurring uranium-238. Radioactive uranium is found in all coal ash. Radioactive thorium is a Wellsback material and is found in the most common type of coal ash, bituminous and subbituminous. Wellsback materials patent shows how aluminum oxide, thorium oxide, and other metal oxides can reflect sunlight back into space in an attempt to cool the planet. However, barium is not mentioned as a Wellsback reflective material. If barium is not a reflective metal, why is it being found in chemtrail rainwater tests? According to Jim Phelps, the father of the chemtrail program, barium is used to remove fluoride from the atmosphere caused by coal burning air pollution before the fluoride can create methane from other hydrocarbons, which is called cracking. A million metric tons of fluorine are released worldwide each year according to scientific measurements. These fluoride compounds are extremely strong greenhouse gases, about 8,000 times worse than carbon dioxide for trapping heat in the Earth's atmosphere. Aircraft making a condensation trail is very similar in many ways to when you go outside on a cold day and exhale, you create a condensation trail. That little cloud is a condensation trail. Now, if you take a two-mile walk on a cold day, and you can turn around, and you can see your condensation trail tracking all the way back for two miles, that's how crazy it is to think that what we're looking in the sky is actually condensation trails. The contrails, not the chemical, the contrails occur because of cold air, minus 30. It takes a high altitude, around 30,000 feet plus. There's a carbon dioxide and water vapor in that exhaust. That turns to ice crystals, and that's what you see, the white stream behind it. Those white crystals of ice warm up, dissolve, and the smoke goes away. And it never lasts more than a minute. What we're seeing now, and I first could not believe it, and I started looking at the skies, and these are not normal. They're not natural. There's something going on. I don't know who it is or why they're doing it. All I can testify is it's not natural and it's not normal.